What's going on everyone? Welcome to a YouTube video back again with Bitcoin today with Bitcoin. Okay, guys, and look at this. This is obviously our trading group um, Patreon down below. If you guys want to join it, make sure you do check in. Um, everyone's active. Trend analysis posted all the time. So you guys are learning, understanding where what we're looking at for the next movements. That's our Litecoin entry, signals entry. Our Litecoin trade went straight into profit with beautiful trade. And literally, guys, like I just want you guys to start learning and start earning as well. But yeah, Bitcoin. So we're starting to see a little bit of a pullback now from the Bitcoin decrease that we actually had over the past few days. And that is simply because, if you remember, um, about 48 hours ago, there was a lot of news being spread around, but it was a bit of hearsay. People saying that maybe another country is adopting Bitcoin. And as you can see right here, it is actually official that the Central African Republic is adopting Bitcoin as legal tender. So that could be absolutely massive, okay? Depending on how they utilize it, whether the government starts to buy it, how they start to actually implement it within their country, can start to change how it's adopted from other people. If it works for them, other countries will start to adopt it and things like that. It's really, really good. I'm starting to see a lot of changes with Bitcoin. This is our Litecoin trade we took yesterday. And as you can see, it's on a very nice amount of profit. Um, so we've got double entry right here. So both trades are in profit. But like I said, we are doing Bitcoin today. Okay, so this is our, our this was our Bitcoin trade. We did short Bitcoin. And as you can see, um, literally, we've been put on the full hourly for you guys. You can see it a bit better. So we went, we went straight into profit, of course. And literally, as of right now, we're currently just retesting the EMAs before we see a potential another drop. Um, we simply took this trade basically because, you know, this very, very strong support zone right here. Extremely strong. And I'll show you just how strong it is. If we zoom out, you can see that if we do fall below it and like, we, get we get rejected from the actual support at 39k, we do see a big drop. Bang. Big drop. Bang. Big drop. Bang. Big drop. Bang. But likewise, if we do find support on it, we tend to see a big uptrend. Uptrend. Uptrend uptrend and a massive uptrend so that is very very crucial line of support right here i took the liberty of understanding that this could be a short position simply due to the overall market being in a downtrend right here downtrend right here we broke up but we came back down fell below crucial support retested and i thought you know what we need to i, I want to short here because typically after this big downtrend right here if we see a break like this we would have broken above right here we would have broken above the 43k at this support zone right here this horizontal support zone at 42k and would have continued upwards so this showed to me that this was potentially a massive fake out right here from the bear mark from the um, market institutions the market makers the bigger companies the banks and that's obviously why um, you have to understand how they trade what they do to trade so they they would have got in here okay this big green candle would have been them they would have dumped it at this equally sized purple candle right here. So that's how they make their money. It's understandable how they do it. You just have to learn and understand what to look for before getting in a trade. Because a lot of people would have FOMO'd in about right here. Because like, oh, we're above support at 42k. We're now going to go to the moon. And bang, stopped out of their trade instantly. Um, we don't do that. We wait for our trades. Like here, what you want to do is you want to wait for it to come down below the support. Break back up above the support come back down again and then get in on your trade to go up. Trading is a patience game, guys. You have to understand that. You can't just get in and out of the market too quickly. The best way to do it is set your stop loss, set your take profit, and just wait to see how it goes. Right now, you can see that Bitcoin is literally getting rejected by the 50 EMA on the four hourly time frame, which is right here. So what can we expect to see? We can expect to see potential. If we do get rejected and come below this support zone at 39k, we can start to see another descent. This could just be a bang, a retest before another drop. So there's plenty of time to actually get in on another trade here, which we might do. Um, this, this is obviously a very, very, very um, bear flag like right here. So if we do break this retest, I'll be looking at another entry for a trade. So if you guys do want to get in on trades, learn more about crypto videos and things like that, then you guys join the Patreon down below. We have 11 members currently and they're all enjoying it and loving it. So yeah, so that's how I'm actually looking for another trade entry possibility into Bitcoin. So right there. Uh, we, already, we, we do already have a trade running in Bitcoin when we got in. We actually entered that trade all the way up here. Um, believe it or not, right up here. We entered the trade and we held it down. I got um, exited the trade, a lot of it around this point right here. And I got 25% still in the trade. So that's waiting to just come down. Um, really, I'm just holding that until we get to a big crash. 
But yeah, I want to show you guys the weekly because the weekly is very, very crucial for everyone to understand. And I always say this, but it really is because you can see here, we've held this legacy trend line for a very, very strong amount of time. So this could be crucial for Bitcoin right now. Three touches fell below it. We retested, got rejected at the retest. So what's going to happen now? Is this the descent that we've all been waiting for? Are we going to start coming back down to the 13, 14K Bitcoin range? But you guys aren't going to like it. But my job here is to show you guys what could potentially occur within the crypto market, within Bitcoin, within the other crypto assets as well. And this is one possibility. And this is why I always stay on top of the market and I always take advantage of the little things that happen because I do understand that these scenarios can play out. And it's very true, the guys, they can play out, okay? So my job is to show you guys it and see what can happen. Right now, if this does play out, the next support would actually be very crucially at this line right here. Okay, the 30k mark, very, 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 very strong support. If we do fall below this 30k mark, let's put a horizontal line so you guys can see it much more clearer. Bang, horizontal line, 29.3k. I actually did think it was 28, um, is to me the crucial support, but let's put it up here at 30k. If we do fall below this, this level, the next support where I know for a fact banks, institutions, big companies will start buying is in between sixteen and fifteen thousand dollars right here. Okay. I I, I can I guarantee you that is the next place that they will all start buying in, foaming in at. Okay, I know a lot of you are thinking it'll be twenty K for where we where we where we topped out before, but guys, I do believe that it will be um 15k there will be obviously some support over here at the, at the 20k range so we can put another horizontal line there and i suggest you guys put this up on your chart as well because this is obviously crucial to actually understand and be aware of okay so please put this on your chart so you know where all the crucial supports are and things like that but as of right now we delve into closer you can see the emas have still crossed okay and it is a delayed indicator hence why we've seen the big pump and obviously the dump, and obviously the retest before it, and now we're, we're falling again, okay? What we want to see for this, this weekly candle to continue lower is a close below $39,000. That will send us short um, even further towards the lower levels of 34 k okay? Just where our previous lows were. And if we want to fall lower but before that, what you want to see is you want to see us close below 38 k guys, 39 k guys, sorry, and you want to see us break below this previous low at 33k and then that will obviously show us that okay we're going to come lower towards the 33k and from here we could either potentially come down and pump back up and form this descending channel and come back down again test it there and maybe break out of it and start forming higher highs at 45k ish if i zoom out you can see what i just drew there you can see that this could easily happen into and change into a bear a bull flag sorry very very easily if we start falling lower so you got to understand and start drawing these things to start visualizing what could potentially be happening in the market, okay? But I do see overall are starting to fall lower towards the 34K range, okay? That's why I'm short in Bitcoin. And this is where I think it could potentially be the worst for Bitcoin. But we have to wait and see. I'm doing this video just to, just to show you guys what could happen, a little warning of the future. Um, if we do start to pump upwards, we want to find support above 46K to be very, very safe. And then we want to obviously get above this at 48 to 50k range very very immediately thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video please smash that like button it really does support the channel and help me out a lot i want to say a big thank you to you guys always watching and supporting thank you so much comment down below what you think bitcoin's going to do if it's going to go ballistic this month or if it's going to start coming down before going up i want to see what you guys are thinking thank you so much guys see you in the next one peace